Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I want to show you how to get ready for that next iPhone. So this is my iPhone 6S Plus. I want to get ready, make sure everything's backed up to be ready to transfer to the next iPhone that comes out. So whenever you're watching this, this will pretty much work for any version of iOS all the way across the board, across any device. Now there's going to be two parts to this video. The first part is how to use iCloud backup. The next part is how to use iTunes backup. So if you want to see the iTunes part, that will be second. I'll leave a link so you can just jump ahead. You'll see that in the description and also on the video. So that will help you just jump forward and watch the iTunes part. And then at the end, we'll answer some questions of how things work and what will be erased or won't be erased. So the first thing we need to do obviously is make sure that iCloud backup is turned on if we're using iCloud. So we'll go into settings. We'll scroll down to iCloud, go into iCloud, and you'll see your storage options. Now, obviously you're going to need to make sure you have enough storage if you're using iCloud backup. I actually pay for a terabyte. It's actually calculating uh, different accounts and things, but I pay for a terabyte of storage. So I have 768 gigabytes left. I do this because I have a lot of photos. I have over 65,000 photos, which are backed up and accessible across all my devices. And therefore I need the storage, but you may be able to get away with just the free five gigabytes. They also have a 20 gigabyte, which they just bumped up to 50 gigabytes for a dollar a month. And you also have a slightly larger 200 gigabyte option for about $3 a month. And then there's an even larger two gigabyte option for $20 or two terabyte option rather for $20 a month. So you can pick any one of those, whichever one works, but you just need to make sure it's being backed up. So what you're going to do is scroll down and you'll see backup, make sure that's on and make sure the switch is turned on. And what you'll see is the last time it was actually backed up. Normally the way this works is when it's plugged into the wall and you're on Wi-Fi, and if it hasn't done a backup in a while, it will do a backup at that point. That's usually how that, that works. And then it checks every night or so whenever you're plugging it in and on Wi-Fi to make sure that it has nothing new or, and if it does have something new, it uploads that and backs it up. So let's go back to the different options. Now we have a lot of different options here. We actually have photos. We can back those up every single thing here and notes and Safari Safari backups would be things like bookmarks that you have saved. Also your keychain. So if you save passwords on here, your home settings, all sorts of things, every one of these can be backed up and it's really great and very simple to do. It also backs up your apps, your home screen, how it's laid out and restores all of that as well. Now we'll take a look at the iTunes side and also answer some questions at the end. So I'll leave a link so you can jump to the end also if you have questions about that. So let's go ahead and plug in our device. I'm on my computer, I have my iPhone plugged in and if this is the view you get in iTunes, go ahead and click your phone right up here and you'll see here's my device. Now what we care about is right here with the backups. You'll see it says automatically backup and right now it's selected for iCloud because I'm backing up to iCloud regularly. But if I want to back up to this computer, we just select this computer. We also have the option to encrypt the backup, but we'll need to put a password on that in order to protect that data. And what we can do is tell it to back up now. So if we back up now, it backs up all that information that I showed in the iCloud side, but also all your apps also. And so does iCloud. You'll basically back up the same things depending on what you have selected, but just make sure you back up everything. It says a full backup of your iPhone will be stored on this computer. Hit backup now. Once that completes, you're good to go. So let's go back and answer some questions. Now that you're all backed up and familiar how to do that, I wanted to go over basically some questions that I've been asked in previous videos that I've made. And I've actually made other videos to show you the full process of backing up and restoring from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. So I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the video so you can check that out also. But let me try and answer some of the most common questions I've gotten over the years about that. And the first thing is, will it back up my messages? You know, will I lose all the messages that I've typed or, or texted to people? And the answer is no, it actually backs up everything. So as long as you restore that backup, all of your previous text messages from iMessage or messages will be fully backed up. You won't lose any of them. At least I've never lost any syncing them from previous phones to this phone or any other phone or even iPad. They're there at all times. The next thing people ask me is, well, I have to log into my accounts again, and you actually will have to log into your accounts. You'll have to log into every account because it's a kind of a safety precaution. You'll also have to set up touch ID because that's actually stored in a chip on the device and they don't share that with other devices or anything outside this device. So you'll have to set up your fingerprints 
And you'll also have to set up your cards or at least your Apple Pay account again on this device or whatever your next device is in order to move that over. And that's also a security precaution. So that's fine for most people and not too big of a deal. But the other thing people ask is, will I lose anything on the old phone? And no, nothing at all will move away from that old device. So if I take this phone, I back it up, and then I restore it to another iPhone, and another iPhone and another iPhone, they all stay the same. So this one will stay with all the data and stay synced. So if I text on this device and then text on my new device, they'll actually be in sync usually as long as it's through iMessages and not over SMS, which is through your carrier. So it's, it's pretty nice that way. You can actually have everything synced like I do. So if I go from this phone to another phone, everything's in sync. My photos, uh, my messages, my games, you name it, they're all in sync. And that's the next thing. Will you lose any of your data from your apps or games? And the, the real answer to that is it depends. It depends if that app actually uses iCloud to sync. And what I mean by that is I use an app called MoneyWiz to keep track of finances. And they have their own sync system. So you'll actually have to log into that sync system once you're in the app in order to sync that. But for the majority of them that actually use iCloud, you won't lose information. So most of these games, for example, uh, Virtual City, for example, is an old game I did lose my data in. Field Runners, for example, syncs across iTunes usually, or iCloud rather, and I won't lose my data in it. It just depends on which game and what what that game is set up to use for saving. So as long as it's saved in iCloud, you're good to go. If you're not, it won't be saved up. The final question people ask me is if I go from an old phone to a new phone, will I lose my music? And the real answer to that is sometimes. If you're paying for Apple Music or iTunes Match, you won't lose your music. However, if you didn't pay for either of those and you imported your music from either a CD or some MP3s or Amazon where you bought it, you'll have to re pull that music in through iTunes. So the easiest way to back up all your music is just to have it already in iTunes to begin with. If you purchased your music through iTunes, you can just go and re-download it again. So that's not a big deal. You just go into the app for iTunes and grab your music and put it back on your device. That's not an issue at all. If you didn't do any of that, you'll actually have to get it from a different source, dump it into iTunes and move it back. So you can't just directly transfer music from this device to the other one due to copyright reasons. It's kind of a pain, but that's really the only way you can do it is either you've paid through it through iTunes, have iTunes match, which syncs all of your music or have Apple music, which just gives you the music to begin with. So that's really pretty much it as far as getting ready for that next iPhone. Hopefully I answered all the questions, but if you have any more, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want this wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I know a lot of you want that, and hopefully you watch to the end to hear that I left it there. If not, help everybody else out and let them know that the wallpaper is actually in the description by letting them know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.